Hey, it's already a wrap here at the Mid-Atlantic CrossFit Challenge. We're at the podiums. I'm gonna show you how we got here. Let's go. That sled was so easy. Stupid. They weren't clear on what to do. <laughs> Did you know I was supposed to wait back there with you? No. So I'm just looking like an idiot and running back and forth. <laughs> you didn't I should push, just push this across the line. line. You didn't push across the line. I have a good one. How was that event? Otherwise, it was, it was hard. Um, the areas that were hard, I knew were going to be hard. Uh, the run sucked. Uh, wall balls got wall balls difficult. Sucked. And we were had like no three rep. or four no reps, and I was like, okay, we're off. Like, let's I'm stop for a just, second. Yeah, I'm glad we could stop. Once you start missing reps, I was like, okay, let's chill out for a second. What so, was the worst part? Tozakar got hard, actually. I was surprised. Yeah. I was like 20 at first, and I was like, ah, 15. Once we got to 55 wall balls, it started to suck. Yeah. Dave, now you've gotten a chance to see a little bit of it unfold. What do you think about the semifinal process? Yeah. And then it's all it's really cool. It's a lot different for me. Like when I come to these events, when they were regionals, when I used to come to them, I uh, I was really invested in the workouts because we created them, and I'd pay attention to everything and make sure the flow and the visual is uh, is what I want out of it. But at an event like this, I didn't program these, so I, I'm less attached to it. I still like to see and make assessment and judgment of what I think they're doing right and wrong, but. Um, it's nice to be here in this capacity, and it's really cool to see them put this on, and the uh, how the athletes are responding to it, and how the crowd's responding to it, and it's a huge success. Does it stress you out to, to like watch these workouts that you don't program? No, it doesn't stress me out. It's actually more of a relief because when I program, yeah, exactly. Like if there's a shitty workout or a shitty, it's not on me this time, so it's 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 easier for me. 34, but a lot, or 33, but a lot of miles. 33. A lot of miles. I'll be 34 in July. Are you going to do eight here? Oh, Come on. Man, I just, the individual, like, I, honestly, I don't, the master's thing would be fine. I just don't want to do individual anymore. It's like, it's not fun for yeah, me. Yeah, but you don't have to, uh, you I could do the qualifiers. You wouldn't even have to go that hard and still win. But I, that's not, that's not it. Like, I enjoy, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't enjoy by, being by Are myself Are you surprised anymore. that Dan did it? No, we talked about it. I knew he would do it. I'm, I'm happy Hobart did so well. Yeah. I knew Dan would do well, but Hobart crushed us. Yeah. They would have been, I got paid money to do this, sponsored by TYR. I had to get the brand in, guys. <laughs> yeah. So they could just buy me a membership to a pool. That would be a great sponsor. So we're up to over 500 now? Yeah. Are you really going to do it? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go try some muscle ups over there. I just can't believe this is happening. I was like laid out dead after I practiced this, so I'm not going out of my <laughs> I was like still strapped into the rower, like uh, dangling off the side of it.
Coach, how are you feeling? Good. You're, Thirsty. You're going to the games, but let's say back to the games because you sort of qualified last year and didn't get to go. Yeah, it's going to be cool to do it here and last year qualified. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Every year it's gotten gotten better. Yeah. Is that pretty cool? Like you guys finish the event, like obviously we were in, but you got that huge crowd, like really cool. Really oh yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It was epic. Everybody was, you could hear everybody, and it just made us push harder. Especially at the end, I think it came down to us and another team, so the intensity just got got heated. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, real quick, I gotta go to the team. Um, with the whole team? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hey, my dad is all short and he really wants to take a selfie with you. Oh, hi! Daddy, it's more connections. Hello! I don't know how to take it. Yes, we did. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Thank you. How are you guys doing? I feel great. Thirsty. Thirsty. I feel unworked out. Parched. How was it working out those uh, goggles on? Bad. Huh? How was it working out those goggles on? Honestly, you kept my hair down for the muscle ups. It was nice. <laughs> like a headband. Yeah. Like, otherwise, the pony would have been in my face. There you go. You like both these workouts a lot, right? How are you feeling today? Great. Like even better than yesterday. And yesterday was pretty good. How does Haley like this event? She likes it. Very good movements for her. We do a lot of toes far, a lot of biker, a lot of thrusters, a lot of lunging. So. It's convenient. It's convenient. It works out when we get to this point. This one too, she's actually practiced. Like not the full thing through, but she's done burdens of this one, so she knows what it's going to feel like. So I think that'll be a good benefit too. It's kind of like the first event at the games. How do you like this one? I like it. It's just a grind. I'm trying to, you know, like, you have to, like, really stay in your own lane. Like it was, you guys stepped on the mat at the same time, so I don't, I really don't know. I'm assuming they're gonna have to go to the chip. It's gonna be second or third, so pretty good. I would say that's successful. Yeah. She totally crushed it. Incredible. She's gotten really good on the bike too. I noticed. She would like catch people on the bike. Yeah. Which I knew she was good on the bike, but that was awesome. How stressful was that as her coach? Very stressful, but exciting too. Like to just see her out there going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, yeah. pushing the pace. When they came off in the first round, all of those women, I was like, this is a hot start. I felt yeah. like a little like, Ooh. And they held on. Maybe the commentators and everybody will kind of start to realize that, like, the weight's not an issue anymore, you know? Yeah. Oh, did they say that about her? 
Well, I mean, that's just what they always say. Yeah. You know, she's not strong as you have to build, so oh. she's going to hurt you, but no, no, obviously she, not. I knew she was going to smash that, because especially she moves, I mean, she moves all weight well, especially at, like, close to her percentages. She moves it incredibly well. So outside of, like, a solid one at max, which have improved significantly, she always has been able to move a bar well. You know what I mean? But yeah. they just correlated that it's, since her one rep max isn't as high, that she can't do it as well. No more Did it, oh, she got third. Barely. Totally. You said she was very confident going into it. Yeah, I, she was like, hail storm. I'm like, here we go, which she's has like a quiet confidence. And it still was a quiet confidence, but like you could tell she felt comfortable with the moves and the grind of it because she's not afraid of the pain. That's one thing that I think she really has that other people don't have. Is she almost like wants to like hurt, you know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? You agree, right? Yeah. Like yeah. she's got like 100%. that like grit where she's like the harder the better. What's up, Dom? She's about to go out, right? Yeah. You ready? A couple minutes, yeah. I'm feeling really good today. Good. The only thing sore in my body is my lats a little bit. Yeah. Tender. That's good. Yep. Last day, give you your, give you your all, right? Empty the tank. Whatever's left. That's right. So I'm pumped. What's your breakup plan on the thrusters? Nine, then one straight into the lunge every time. Have you practiced any of these workouts? Yes, I've done two rounds of this workout. My work schedule didn't really allow me to do it more. Like it was too close to the event for me to do the full thing. Exactly as much as you could. Yeah, I'm glad Zach assigned me. Knew exactly what I had to do. We got two people in between us. You him and then, uh, or you got a okay, another guy and then Mark. I've got other things. Yep. Yeah, what's the what's the math for Angelo when he last the last? He needs to beat Zach by two spots. So he needs a, him, two people, Zach. So he, has, he needs ten points. So I give him twelve to clear it. Make sure you get ten. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Twelve no points, baby. Where are you at right now? Eight. We're, eight. Tw we're either nine or uh, yeah. eight points to separate really each other. Really, really I think, close. yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's literally that. So I'll tell you this, though, man, fam, because I'm the old guy <laughs> and he's the younger guy. If it comes down to two reps and he would be the one going, I want you to go. <laughs> Thank you. And that's not Thank throwing you. it, that's just saying, hey, I got my plan. I'm trying to represent us yeah. at the Masters. <laughs> someone between her and Brooke who's in second to get second otherwise they'll tie for second say if Haley came in second and Brooke came in third they would tie but if Haley came in second and Brooke came in fourth they she would win does that make sense yeah. I feel like I explained that really confusingly it makes sense okay Does she go touch and go and dumbbell or yes just some she won't do you think a lot of athletes would do that no I think in the top heats yeah but in the other heats no 
What do you think? Time has 15 minutes. What do you think is going to be a hot time this week? I'm honestly no idea. Some time? So that would be like a minute around, yeah, for sure. Because it's a little longer. Yeah, so I'm like, do I do four pull, hit, hit? I think I did that at the game. Yeah. That's what I did at the game. Try that and see how that works. Because that's the same height as the one that's the same. That bike one? Yeah. I remember I went one, two, three, four, kip, hit. Yeah. Because I remember I was like. It was an uneven number. Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. It worked perfect then. And that was faster, like on the road. Yeah. me up great going into the games. This was a good practice run going against the best in the world. Um, I consider this a pretty hard comp and I think it was great practice for what's to come. When do you like, <laughs> remember stage one when you danced and uh, like when do you do that? Like when does your emotion like cover you? I don't do that right now because there's still a lot of work left to do. This is just small part. Just show that we're like on the right path. Yeah. 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 Aside from your performance, how cool is it to compete in front of all these people? Oh my god, it was the coolest thing. <laughs> like just hearing Jimmy. people yell. Yeah. I haven't been in person since the games last year, so like yeah, yeah, yeah. just hearing all the people yell for me, like I didn't realize that I mean, people liked me. On the start line, dude? Yeah, no, nuts. I heard it. They went nuts. I get to keep this? Are you sure? Actually, we should oh, trade. Sure. Is this a mistake? Why the hell did you only get one? Oh, it's actually like... <laughs> kind of oh, awesome. Thank you. Let me put my sword away. Where is, I know, I was like, I know the sword. Yeah. Where does this rank for coolest trophies you've ever By had? far, the most. <laughs> you know what tries to that trophy? Absolutely not. Can you imagine this kid, that kid, waving a sword around? He'd look like that. Huh? He'd look like you right now. Actually, they'd be fun to sharpen. Got a tank and a sword. I know. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is like Christmas. Man. It's like Christmas. They got a tank and a sword. <laughs> Load up. Overall, how would you say it went this weekend? Uh, good. You know, there's some things we know we need to work on. Um, Obviously, with, with strength, is uh, you know, you just got to be smart. Um, can't take as much of a hit on some events uh, or on that first event as we, you know, we're stronger than that. Made some, I made some stupid jumps. Um, Taylor said she missed, you know, something she shouldn't have missed, and then Andrea as well. And then Chase did what he could, but went out there and missed that first lift. She got, you know, too hyped up. So it's just little things like that. Um, but other than that, all in all, I think pretty good weekend. You know, other than that last event, uh, where the deadlifts are just, uh, just hard. So. Um, first competition back in front of the crowd. Yeah. How was that? It was fun. It was cool having the energy of the crowd, the the pressure of you know competing against uh, people that you don't know. I mean, we compete hard against um, everybody every day, but we kind of know in a workout who's going to win a workout most of the days. You know, Haley, you know what her strengths and weaknesses are. And, um, it was cool to not know kind of where you needed to push or who we were going to get pushed from in each workout. So uh, it was good. It's it you know, something that I've definitely missed. As Haley's training partner and punching bag. Punching bag. Yep. How, uh, how did it? How is it for you to see her and get second and kind of control those people? Yeah, it's awesome. It was cool to see her. You know, at least making Tia look over every once in a while. 
um, and you know, give her a little bit, just something to think about instead of her just walking away with everything. So uh, happy for her, you know, seeing the sacrifice she makes, makes every day, uh, how hard she works. It's cool to see that all come to fruition.